All right, let's start working on interest board problems. And I'll just write the formula really quickly over here. Simple interest is P times R times T, which P represents the principal, just the amount of money invested. R is the rate, and T is just time. Um, in this case, he's just going to be investing for one year, so T is just one. And John invested $1,000, part of 5%, part of 7%. After one year, he earned $50, $59 sorry, worth of interest. How much did he invest at 7%? So here's what I'm going to do. He invested at 5% and at 7%, right? So he invested $1,000 in total. How much did he invest at 7%? I'm just going to make that X. Because he had a thousand dollars in total though I know that this whatever he invested at five percent plus X is a thousand so I will just write this as a thousand minus X because if I add a thousand minus X to X a thousand minus X plus X that's just a thousand so that's it and Okay, so after one year, he, he earned $59 worth of interest. So $59 is what he earned. And to obtain interest from each value here, so these guys are just going to represent the principles for each uh, part. And let me do this just step by step. If he invested 1000 minus X dollars at 5%, the total interest he would earn would be a thousand minus X which is P times the rate which is 5% and 5% I'll just write down as 0 0.05 times the time in years and after one year so we don't have to write the one there it's um, it's understood that it's there it's just one and why did I pick 0 0.05 because since it's in percentage right 5% 5 divided by 100 is just 0 0.05. So that's it. This is the interest earned at 5%. 1,000 minus x times 0 0.05. Um, what about the interest at 7%? Well, he invested x dollars, so that's the p in this case, invested at 7%, and r will be 0 0.07 since he invested at 7%. And T again is just 1, so I don't need to write it over there. Great, so now we know that these two guys add up to 59. So 1,000 minus X times 0 0.05 plus X times 0 0.07. These guys will add up to 59. So once we solve for X, we're done. And we find out how much invested at 7%. So 59 is equal to, now we need to distribute the 0.05. 1,000 times 0 0.05 is 50. Negative x times 0 0.05 is negative 0 0.05x. Plus x times 0 0.07 is 0.07x. And now I will just subtract 50 from both sides of the equation because I want to eventually isolate x, right? So these guys go away, 59 minus 50 is just 9. Then negative 0.05x plus 0.07x is just 0.02x. And now I can divide both sides by 0.02. These guys cancel out. And what is x equal? x is equal to four hundred and fifty dollars that's it so he invested four hundred and fifty dollars at seven percent what if the question was asking how much invested at five percent well then we would just take away 450 from a thousand and a thousand minus 450 would be 550 but that's it in this case they're just asking or we're just asking how much did he invest at seven percent and that would be the answer four hundred and fifty dollars